Dr. Hussein, what were the shortcomings in the traditional method that led you to develop a new method? Well, the traditional method, the original method, uh, is based on radioisotopes, dot blots, and the problem with that is, it, although it's sensitive, uh, we generate radioisotopic waste, and that is an issue, that's a problem. The next generations of method was threshold method. It's, it's an immunobased method, but it's not as sensitive as it needs to be. So we moved into PCR-based methods, which are very sensitive, and we developed qPCR methods for post-residual DNA. How does the extraction-free method impact downstream development? The qPCR or the PCR-based methods um, we used and everybody used to use involved extracting the test sample, which is a protein drug, extract the DNA from the test sample and then test it. Although PCR is very efficient, the sensitivity of the method becomes limited by the extraction efficiency. So if the extraction efficiency is poor, no matter how efficient your PCR is, the results are poor. There are a number of extraction methods, but all had problems because your purified drug has, by definition, very little DNA, and you are extracting that very little DNA from a lot of your drug. So it needs to be either super efficient or do not extract at all. So the method we developed was without extracting, directly putting our test sample in qPCR. But before that, we just digest our protein because the sample has DNA in it and we want to find out how much DNA is in there in the drug. So our focus is DNA and we don't care about the protein. So we digest the protein out and now the digested sample put in the PCR and look uh, efficiently determine almost 100% efficiency we get and determine the amount of low amount of DNA. So your question about how it affects the downstream, well, it's very efficient. It's tolerant to all the in-process samples, meaning the downstream purification process, they generate samples, the process intermediates we call in-process samples. Those can be tested by the same method. So it's good for them. They, they can get a uh, very accurate result in a short time. Thank you very much for your time, Dr. Hussein, and I look forward to the future horizon and what we see next.